reaching out from somewhere Hey there, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna be teaching you how to play Celestial by Ed Sheeran. For the basics, you'll just need a guitar and standard tuning and you won't need a capo. Now, if you wanna master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you wanna improve on your guitar in general, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. All right, let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so this is a pretty simple song to play in terms of the chords. The trickiest part about this song is the syncopation and the rhythm, but I'll get to that later. I'll teach you two different ways of playing a strumming pattern though, an easy version and one that's a little bit more complicated. So let's start with our basic four chord chord progression. So we start with the G chord like this, and then we're gonna to go to a B minor seven. So to play a B minor seven from the G, just keep your ring finger where it is and put your index finger on the second fret of the fifth string and your middle finger on the second fret of the third string. And we're just gonna focus on the middle four strings here. And that's our B minor seven. So you don't want that sixth string ringing out. Just focus on those middle four strings. That's our B minor seven. And then we have a D chord. So again, we're just keeping our ring finger where it is. We're playing a D. And then finally we have an A chord. So you can play it like this with your index, middle and ring finger, or you can just use your index finger to bar across the second frets of the fourth, third and second strings. And we're gonna play that from the fifth string onwards. So that's our four chord chord progression. G, B minor, D, and A. Okay, so let's start with a really basic strumming pattern that you can use throughout the entire song. It's just eight down strums at eighth notes. So one and two and three and four and. But also what you can do is accent certain beats. So the one beat, the end beat after the two, and the four beat. By accenting, you can strum those strums harder. And for the rest of the strums, just focus on more of the bass notes of the chord. So that will sound like this for the G. One, two, and three, and four, and. We can apply that to every chord, and the simple way of playing this chord progression is like this. So now let's learn the more complicated strumming pattern that is more accurate to the studio recording. So with this strumming pattern, we're trying to accent with the same rhythm as the piano in the studio recording. And the syncopation of the piano is a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad when you just break it down. So at the core of this more complicated strumming pattern, it's just gonna be down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a but you'll see in the strumming pattern down below where the accents actually occur. So there's an accent on the two beat, an accent on the up strum of the end beat, an accent on the end beat after the three with a down, and then finally another up stroke accent on the E beat. Now you don't have to accent those beats, but that is where the piano is actually accenting. So if I was just to play this straight without the accenting with a chord progression, it would sound like this. but with the accents. You can notice the shift in feel by accenting those certain beats. Now the tempo of the song is 123 BPM at 4-4 timing. Keeping up with that timing, with that strumming pattern is pretty tricky because you're gonna be going down and up pretty fast. So at the end of this lesson, I'll be doing two playthroughs. The first one will be the really simple strumming pattern at full speed, 123. And then the second playthrough, I'll be doing the more complicated strumming pattern, but I'll slow it down a tiny bit so that it's at a more achievable speed. And then once you're comfortable with that, you can try playing along with the actual recording. So once more with a metronome. full 
speed, it would actually sound like this. Now what you can do is just also focus solely on those accented strums and cut out everything in between. So you could play something a little more stripped back like this. Down, down, up, down, up. And if you played that once with each chord, it would sound like this. Note though that the syncopation is a little trickier and the rhythm might feel a little bit janky if you're just playing it like that. Personally for me, by playing all those other strums in between those accents, it helps me keep time a little bit better. So that's everything for this song. It can be really simple if you want it to be, or you can challenge yourself and try that really fast strumming pattern. So now I'll do two quick playthroughs of the song, and I'm not playing the entire song because it's the same chord progression just repeated again and again. I'll just be playing the first verse and chorus. For the first playthrough, I'll use the simple strumming pattern, and for the second playthrough, I'll use the more complicated strumming pattern. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go. You see tonight could go either way Parts balance on a razor blade We are designed to love and break And to rinse and repeat it all again I get stuck when the world's too loud Things don't look up when you go and down And know your arms are reaching out Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you wanna grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.